I want to go to Joanne Fabrics today. Last time I went to Joanne Fabrics, they had a line outside and I called to find out why there was a line and I was told that they were only letting a few people in at a time. So I'm expecting that there will probably still be a line, but I'm going to take my chances and I'll bring you along with me so we can see what Joanne Fabrics has and hopefully I can find some fabric because I'm running really, really low. So let's go see what's up. So I threw a jacket on because I am always cold and especially in the mornings it's really really chilly here or be, at least before the sun comes out. So I threw on a jacket just in case. I don't know what to expect and it's really cloudy so hoping it doesn't rain. And I don't know, can you see in the back window the bike rack is on the back of the car so we haven't taken that down yet. But um we may have to take it down just because we've been keeping the car outside of the garage because we've been using the garage as a place to kind of work out and so I don't want the bike rack to get rusty or anything I don't know if it would but just in case so yes I am almost there so we'll see what happens I just don't know what to expect but we'll see shortly Okay, so I timed myself the whole time I was standing in line because I was curious just to see exactly how long it was going to take me to get to the front. And it was approximately an hour. It was like right close to an hour. So yeah, just to round up, I'll say it took me an hour to get through the line. And then when I was in the store, I could not figure out exactly what I wanted because I didn't really have a pattern in mind. I just knew that I wanted some fabric. So I spent so much time in the store just browsing and going up and down the aisles. So let me show you what I finally came out with. Some basics. <laughs> So I just ended up getting some cotton denim and I think I want to make a button front shirt with a collar. So yes, I got some cotton denim and then I didn't know how much to get so I just got a yard and five eighths of each piece. I only bought two pieces of fabric. And then the other one was this green, which is so pretty. I love this green. This is just a brush poly cotton knit fabric. So, yes, I don't know what I want to make with this. I kind of thought a turtleneck. I know that's kind of weird because it's getting hot, but I have this pattern that I just purchased online. It's a Berta pattern, and it's, it's so cute. And I was like, I could always use a turtleneck in the fall or something, and I don't have one this color, but we'll see. I may or may not make a turtleneck, but at least I have this pretty pretty fabric and then I have time to decide what I want to make with it and then I bought buttons just in case my button front shirt does work out then I'll have some buttons to go with it so we will see okay so yes I got in and I got out and now I am on my way back home Okay, so as you can see, I am back at home. It is actually a new day. Okay, so one thing I wanted to mention about my trip yesterday is that I noticed that anyone who ordered online, they were able to just get their order right away and they didn't have to worry about standing in the line that I was standing in. So yes, I wanted to just mention that because I thought that was pretty important and pretty good to know. All right, so I actually have three sewing makes to share with you today. And the first one that I want to talk about is an older pattern. It came out in 2015 and I don't have any notes that I took on this pattern, but I looked at the pattern, I opened it up and I got some of the features so that I can share those with you. 
Now this is a quick make, well I thought it was a quick make. I made view A which is the short dress. I made it in a knit fabric. I have no idea where I purchased this fabric from. It is black and white and it has like a black background with flashes of white light. And it looks like a city, like it, someone took it at night, someone took a picture of something at night and then made fabric out of it or something. It's kind of weird to describe, but it has a nice little cool looking print on it. So I love that. And there are princess seams in the dress and a collar and what else? There is a piece of elastic that they wanted you to sew to the sleeve area to kind of create this little gathered look. And I chose not to do that. But other than that, I didn't make any changes to the pattern and I just sewed it right up. So yes, I will share that with you. Now the second make that I want to talk about is one that I have made before. It is Simplicity 8657, which is one of the hack patterns. I made the top the first time. This time I made the caftan or the dress and I made it in the short version, which is I believe you won. Now I made it out of a cotton gauze fabric that I purchased online from Vogue Fabrics. The color of the fabric is called eggplant or it was called eggplant online. Some of the features this pattern does have the deep V in the front and also in the back. Now the first time that I made this pattern the back was so low that I ended up just cutting out some pieces of fabric to make back ties. Well this time I did two things. I realized that the back ties were already included in the pattern and I did not know that but yes the back ties are there so if you want to add them you don't have to do what I did and just cut out some fabric from you know just willy-nilly which is what I did the first time but what I did this time I just decided to raise the neckline I raised it an inch in the front and the back however after I took the video clip that I'm going to share with you I realized that the dress even with the alteration still continued to just fall off my shoulders so if I ever make this pattern again I will need to raise the neckline a little bit more now the way I raised the neckline was really really easy I found a picture that I will share of exactly what I did and what it is basically is just taking the front center front line on the front and the back and drawing it up the height that you want in my case I used an inch and then I just trued everything up to make sure the shoulder seam and the shoulders in the front would just line up okay and I did the same thing on the front and the back so yes it was a really easy alteration and it did work but I just didn't lengthen it enough Okay, so the third sewing make is what I am actually wearing, which is a vintage bodysuit, and this is vintage 8441. I made view A, and it's really simple. It doesn't have a whole lot going on. The, the front straps are kind of like halter style, and they, they not tie, but they are supposed to be hook and eyed in the back but I just decided to use snaps instead because I thought that that would be a little more secure. So these actually pieces come down and then you pin them or pull them to the back and then pull them or snap them together in my case. So yes, I like my little bodysuit. I love bodysuits anyway, so I like it. And of course it's in the green color that I'm crazy about. So yes, 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 that is it. Those are my three sewing makes. So I will go ahead and show you the clip of the other two.
before I go, something I learned recently is just right on time for this video. So I learned that there are people called professional line sitters, also known as line standers. So what it is, is you can actually hire someone to stand in long lines for you so that you don't have to do it yourself. And you just pay them by the hour and then when they get close to the front or to the front, they will contact you and you just come and replace them and they go on their merry way. And yeah, it's a thing. I had no idea. So there are two sites that I learned about that offer the line standing services, just in case you're interested. One is taskrabbit.com and the other one is lineangel.com. So yeah, if you are interested in being a line stander or hiring someone to stand in line for you, those are some sites that you may want to check out. So yes, thank you for watching and I hope you come back for the next one. If you enjoyed this video, I would love to know you can click on the little thumb that's sticking up below.